The next feature we're going to be implementing in the application is to see how we can use our Golia search with Vue.js so that we can instantly search for users from our database, okay? This is because our users can actually send friend requests and receive friend requests, but they can't actually find each other in application. So for us to do this, I'm gonna be creating a CEDA file for our users table. And though we need to modify it a little bit because we'll need to also automatically create a profile for each user. Because remember in our registers controller, right there, once we create a user, we also create a profile for that user, okay? And things get complicated or wrong when we have a user without a profile. Okay, so let's head over to our model factory and we're gonna create a new model factory for our profiles table. So I'll just duplicate that and right here, I'll just remove everything in the return. And right here, we'll be going to the profile class. So the app profile class is gonna create that for our profile table. Obviously we'll return an array. And if we check our migration for our profiles table, right there we have a location and we have an about. So looks like we're gonna be needing a location right here. And uh, for this location, we're gonna use Ficker city property. It's just gonna give us some fake city. And uh, we also use for the about, would we'll say Ficker paragraph method, and we'll just pass in the number of sentences we need in that paragraph. Okay, so that's it for our profiles table factory. And uh, we're gonna be generating this profile using a relationship between the user and the profile. So that's all we need, we don't need the user ID. Next step, we need to generate a user's table CEDA. So let's head over to our command line. And right here, we're just gonna run the simple command php artisan make CEDA. And this would be the user's table CEDA. CEDA created successfully. So let's head over to that CEDA. Users table CEDA right there. Now in this run method, what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to generate a number of users. And for each of those users, we're going to generate a new profile. So we'll call our factory method. And this factory method, first of all, receives the class. So we'll say app user class. And right here, we'll generate 40 users for application. And next, we call the create method. But after calling the create method, what we want to do is also generate a profile for each user. So for each of those users that were just created, we'll go ahead and pass in a callback. Okay. And this callback is going to take in the currently newly created user. Okay. So this function receives the user that was just created. And for each of those users, we're going to assess the profile relationship. If we check out our user.php class, that's our profile relationship with the profile table. Okay. So we'll assess that relationship and we'll be able to call a save method to save a new profile for each of those users. Okay. So right here in our save method, we'll just call a factory for the app profile class and we'll precise that we need just one and we'll just say make a profile. Okay. So notice how we are using create right here and we're using make. So it's going to make and then it's going to create. Okay. So everything looks great. Let's go ahead to our terminal. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually delete everything in my database so that we can be able to see the newly created users and the newly created profiles. So I'll just say PHP artisan migrate refresh. That's done. Next thing I'm going to do is simply call the CEDA. So PHP artisan database seed. And uh, I just remembered if we call this right now, it's not going to run anything because we didn't register our seed class. So right here, we need to uncomment this right here. So it's going to call the user stable CEDA to see that data. So now that that's done, let's run it. Okay. So see that users table CEDA. Okay. So means if we, so means if we call PHP artisan tinker, we should be able to see all that data in our database. Okay. So let's say app user all, and there we have it. We have 40 new users in our database. Okay. So let's just get the first user. And for the first user, let's go ahead and call the profile. Okay, to access that, we do not need to call the profile method, but the profile property right there. Okay, so we see that the first user and every other user has a new profile. The ID is there and the location is there and the about information is there. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next video, we are actually going to be using this dummy data, which Lavo Scout.